and it cannot be that we, we are collectively being punished for actions that are not ours. <laughs> These are people coming across. They are attacking Kenya. They are not attacking Northeastern or Garissa or Wajia or Mandera. They are attacking Kenyans. We are Kenyans. I think some of us, we said that the only good thing coming from Somalia is the sun. <laughs> but today, today, Kenyan teachers are able to go and teach in Mogadishu, in Hargeisa, in Puntaland, where, the, where you have terrorists. And they are being attacked every day. Why is it not possible for our teachers to provide those services here in Kenya? Yet the people who are being affected are fellow Kenyans. What we are doing is we are assisting the terrorists with, the, with their narrative. We are doing exactly what they want. To de-school the students here, to de-school the population, so that at the end they will do what they want. And we, we will become a problem and a burden for the rest of Kenya. That's how we should look at it. If you're not going to address the issue of the teachers, we will become a burden for the whole of Kenya, and this problem will come to your own doorstep. It will not be confined to here. <laughs> so, Madam Safia said that you have transformed. I'm saying that you are showing some sign of wanting to transform. <laughs> you will only transform if you go back today and say that policy of transferring mass transfers is cancelled and is stopped. That's when we will agree that you have transformed. Otherwise, if that is still going on, then you guys are not any better than Al-Shabaab. You're not any better than Al-Shabaab. And let me make it clear. Under Section 7 of the Children's Act, now I'm talking as the DPP, I can actually <laughs> charge the whole commission. I can charge the whole commission for refusing to give education to Kenyans and to the children. And Section 7 is very clear. 